During the pandemic, I was forced into lockdown away from my family with only a backpack full of the fiction of you and me. I was surprised to recognize my own family's dynamics in the fictional family of the story. The story is about an immigrant father and an American daughter who have a sense of silence between them, calcified by decades of intergenerational trauma. Between my immigrant father and American brother, it wasn't silence, but shouts and conflict. Both families, fictional and personal, identified conflicts of diasporic families that are between borders, language, genre, and generation. So this emotional thread between these families is where I focused my research contemplating uh, diaspora as a literary genre. Often in diaspora studies, we're thought to think of the movement of people as faceless populations in unimaginable scales, as clip our arrows leaving whole continents. But as I studied, I found that the intimate uh, narratives of families like authors, by authors like Yi and Lee, focused the perspective of diaspora from the monumental to the familial and the personal scale, focusing on people's faces and interpersonal relationships. Not only that, but the strength of the genre is that it can encompass political, um, political, theoretical, and ethnic uh, valences, while at the same time not losing the emotional element of individual stories. Now, this is work that diaspora is uh, well suited to do, but is often precluded from doing because of anxieties around the term's origins. Capital D diaspora often refers originally to the Jewish diaspora, but now scholars use it in new ways like talking about cultural, linguistic, even digital and gender diasporas. So my thesis aims to show that this semantic broadening is not a loss, but an incredibly productive shift to talk about the ways that we move in contemporary society. We have the internet, we have airplanes that make mental and physical travel increasingly frictionless, but it also makes displacement an incredibly new, messy condition that we have never seen before. And diaspora is a genre that can encompass that. So I hope that by excavating diaspora and the intricacies of intergenerational trauma and bilingual conflict, within authors in my thesis that are first, second, and third generation that settled in places like the US, Canada, England, and Australia. Diaspora is a genre that really can thread the emotions between them in a way that immigrant and Asian American fiction can't. So I hope that the genre at its best can generate new conversation between authors, audiences, and people living diaspora capacious enough to speak between and within and across particularities. Thank you.